Good morning. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, Jessica here with you today. Unfortunately, Casey is away, but we are going ahead today with our topic of weight loss and arthritis and autoimmunity. So before we get started, I'm just going to quickly introduce myself for those of you who are new to my community and aren't familiar with who I am. My name is Jessica Melnick. I'm a registered holistic nutritionist, the founder of the Anti-Arthritis Method, the host of the Happy Joints Arthritis Solutions Group, and I help both women and men with various forms of arthritis get back to living life the way they choose to, not the way they have to. So today we're going to be talking about weight loss struggles and arthritis or autoimmunity. Now, I get asked this a lot uh, from my community online and also from my clients because often if we're dealing with arthritis, it can come with mobility issues and or pain that prevents us from being as active as we would like to be. And we all know that it can be hard to keep ourselves at a healthy weight if we're unable to be um, active. And so it's kind of like a catch 22. Sometimes, you know, our doctors will say, well, you know, you need to lose weight and that's going to uh, relieve some of the pressure on your joints, but then you can't exercise because you're in too much pain or you're dealing with mobility issues. So we're going to talk about why bringing down inflammation and calming the immune system is actually a better focus than weight, at least to start when we are dealing with this issue. So when we are having arthritis or um, autoimmune conditions or any inflammatory issues, our body is actually in survival mode. So when we are experiencing these inflammatory uh, joints or if we're dealing with autoimmune conditions, our immune system is actually fighting foreign invaders. So if we're dealing with like an autoimmune form of arthritis like rheumatoid or any other autoimmune condition that comes into play as well, our body's focus is not on weight at this point. Our body's focus is on trying to calm the immune system or it's trying to bring down the inflammation in the body and vice versa. So when our body is more in balance, it's going to naturally start to release excess weight. So when our hormones are working like they're supposed to, uh, when we are eating the proper nutrition that our body needs, our blood sugar is balanced, and then our immune system can calm down and our body starts to reduce inflammation, we can get to uh, back to our more natural set point for weight that is right for our body. And everybody's a little bit different. So sometimes what we would maybe want our body to look like is not necessarily what our body naturally wants to be at. So with autoimmune conditions and arthritis, we can often gain weight or lose weight in an unhealthy way because our bodies are out of balance and they're inflamed. And so we need to first address the root causes. So in the case of arthritis and autoimmunity, we're looking at root causes of leaky gut and just overall inflammation in the body. And then our bodies can actually get back to a healthy weight set point and start to release any excess weight. So if we're not able to address that, it's going to be really hard for us to lose any excess weight or for our body to release that because it's going to be in survival mode. It's not going to be focused on um, releasing excess weight. It's just going to be really focused on trying to bring our body back into homeostasis to calm an overactive immune system and to address any inflammation that's going on. So here are some other reasons why we may not be losing weight if we are dealing with arthritis, inflammatory conditions, autoimmune conditions, et cetera. So I think part of it is a mindset. Uh, I know that maybe sounds a little bit silly, but mindset is really important. Uh, mindset also affects our stress level and stress affects our uh, weight as well because stress can affect um, how our body responds, stress can affect our hunger levels. Um, it's, it's just kind of like a vicious circle if um, we are stressed out and just unhappy. So focusing on um, how we look as opposed to bringing our body back into balance and to a healthier state 
can be very detrimental. So we want to actually focus and shift our mindset to looking at, okay, well, how can I bring inflammation down in my body? How can I bring my body back into balance and focusing on the tools and the things that we need to do in order to nurture our body and uh, bring it back into balance and reduce inflammation. And when we do that, we bring that pressure off of ourselves in terms of what we think we should look like to how do we want to feel and what is it going to allow us to be able to do? What is our body going to be able to do when we are taking really good care of it and we're treating it with kindness and love and respect and giving it what it needs? So... A lot of traditional ways of losing weight can be really inflammatory. So what may have actually worked for us in the past in terms of weight loss, maybe no longer does. I know that my body has changed incredibly over the last 20 years. I don't know about you guys, but things change. Our metabolism changes, the way our body responds changes, our hormones change, all of these things change. And we have to meet our body where it's at, not where we think it should be or trying to force it into a certain way of doing things that's not going to be helpful for us. So eating inflammatory foods, uh, over-exercising, which causes undue stress on the body and not to mention, I think, our, um, our psyche and our state of mind. Uh, eating things like diet foods, things that are like highly processed, but low calorie or low fat or have a lot of artificial sweeteners or flavors and things like that is really inflammatory to the body. So we want to ditch all those things. We want to stop trying to overexercise. So if you're in that state, it's really, really stressful on the body. And um, if we are over exercising, it actually makes our body hang on to more weight because it goes into a panic mode of, oh my goodness, I need to hang on to this because I don't know if I'm going to need it in the future. Same thing with if we're not eating enough and we're making ourselves go hungry, that's also really hard on our body and that creates a lot of stress as well and can create our, our body into a state where it's just hanging on to excess weight because it's trying to protect us. So we really have to approach this from a place of kindness and love towards our body and nurturing it. So thinking of our bodies as, you know, maybe a small child that we are in charge of, maybe your grandparent, how would you nurture and care for your grandchild? You know, how did you nurture and care for your children? So we need to kind of think about ourselves in that way too, and coming from a place of care. Um, and so that we're able to really look after ourselves and um, not punish ourselves into losing weight because that often backfires for us. And like I said before, our bodies often have a set point, a comfortable place of what weight it likes to be at. So maybe in our mind, that's not ideal for us, but it's actually what our body needs. And we need to allow our body, our body knows what it's doing. Our body is going to try to get there naturally and we need to allow it to behave in a way that it knows and it has intelligence. And so sometimes we need to let go of the idea of what we think we want to look like versus what our body feels good at and what it's going to perform best at. So when we are dealing with arthritis or autoimmunity or both, we really need to make that focus about bringing our body back into balance as opposed to focusing on how we look. And um, undereating, overeating, overtraining, or being sedentary any extreme to either end is going to create more inflammation and stress in our body. And it can also cause uh, more weight gain because our body is in survival mode and hanging on to excess weight. And not only that, we're going to be altering our hormones in a really negative way if we are going about this in an unhealthy matter because um, we are pushing our body to some extreme states. And like I said, our body wants to be and do what it's supposed to do, not being forced into um, a certain state and it will rebel. So um, for example, with my clients in the program, and I know Casey as well, we really focus on making sure that you are eating the correct foods, that you're avoiding any and all foods that can potentially be inflammatory or causing more of an issue and getting your blood sugar back into balance as well so that you're not 
overproducing insulin because insulin is our fat storage hormone. So we need to look at all of those things in order to not just bring the inflammation down in our body and to calm an overactive immune system if we have autoimmunity going on, but that uh, we need to do this in order for our body to just naturally release excess weight. So until our body is feeling calm and the inflammation is going down, it's not going to be able to release weight because it's going to be in a stressed state. So this is why I always encourage my clients just really focus on getting the proper foods into your body, getting enough rest. Um, don't push your body beyond its limitations if you're struggling with mobility issues, but make sure that you are getting movement in any way that uh, feels good to you and that you're able to do. So you're not over exercising and you're not being sedentary, but you're meeting your body where it's at and you're moving at a pace and in manners that are not hurting you, that actually uh, feel good. Uh, you can push yourself a little bit, but um, you have to still be really careful and within reason because if we over exercise, that can also make us super, super tired and have us in a recovery mode for days on end. So we need to meet our body where it's at and go from there in terms of movement and we need to feed it the proper foods. We need to avoid, avoid any foods that can cause inflammation or uh, food sensitivities so that we can bring down the overall inflammation in the body. And of course, uh, keeping our insulin in check so that we are not overproducing that. So if this sounds intriguing to you, feel free to reach out to us. This is something that we go into more depth in both of our uh, programs that we have online. I also have a webinar coming up this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, which would be 4 p.m. Pacific. Uh, it would be 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time and 5 p.m. Mountain Time. It would also be on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to learn more, uh, if this approach sounds appealing to you, please uh, come to the online webinar. You can reach out to me. Uh, it's registration is free and I really hope to see you there. And again, please post below if you have any questions that have come up uh, based on this discussion, because I know this is something that a lot of you are dealing with and um, we hear about this a lot. So I hope this gave you guys some insight and I will be back on Thursday to share another joint friendly recipe with you. So take care, you guys, and we'll talk again soon.